In the unique blue hues visible from satellites over Utah's National Park lies a canyon site blending blue, yellow, and green colors, totaling 23 distinct colors. Pawns are offered for recruitment at this location, which features mountains and mats in a striking combination of colors reminiscent of the brown colors. This phenomenon traces its origins back 1,500 years when humans first produced a distinctive chemical element through bone fire. Potash, the product of burning wood and extracting its ash, yields a compound that dissolves in water, creating the vivid hues observed. Filtering and drying this water lead to the formation of potash crystals. Historically, potash found uses in soap making, clothing dyeing, and glass production due to its ability to lower glass's melting point and improve malleability. The demand for potash surged, prompting the establishment of factories dedicated to its production, including Samuel Hopkins's innovation of furnace-based potash production in 1719, a pivotal experiment involving potassium, known as the Beach Experiment, unveiled the element's remarkable reactivity and led to its naming by chemist David Potash. As potassium, the element's applications expanded widely, from batteries and glass to gunpowder and fertilizers. Potassium nitrate, a byproduct, became integral to gunpowder and fireworks production. Initially, Potash's manufacturing relied on wood burning, posing environmental threats due to deforestation. Germany's discovery of potash deposits within specific stones revolutionized production, boosting crop yield and transforming Germany into a primary exporter. Yet, accidents such as the 1963 methane gas leak and fire led to re-evaluations in production methods. In Utah, potash extraction evolved through pressurized water injection, resulting in a mixture that, when retrieved, crystallized into potash. The iconic blue colors visible in the evaporation ponds are a result of adding copper sulfate to prevent bacterial growth and enhance light absorption. The entire process takes about six to eight months, starting with blue water, transitioning to green, then eventually yielding potash crystals. Utah's potash-rich area spans 400 acres, housing 23 evaporation points, and holds around 2 billion tons of potash beneath its surface estimated to be worth $660 billion. This potential economic value makes it a significant resource. The video concludes with appreciation for viewers' engagement and positive comments. The Utah Evaporation Pool is not only a scientific marvel, but also a testament to the interconnectedness of nature and human creativity.